All right, y'all. It's Dominic369. I'm coming back at y'all with a quote that's unleashed. For those of y'all new to the channel, I'm Dominic. I'm a sorcerer, an astrologer. I own redclawconjure.com. On this series, I am teaching you guys about planetary magic. Today is Thursday. Thursday is the day sacred to Jupiter. Jupiter's color is blue. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Jupiter rules Pisces. When you're talking about planetary magic, when you're talking about modern astrology, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. But we're talking about planetary magic. So Jupiter, if you're a Pisces or a Sagittarius, this applies to you. This this magic, this energy is going to help you get more in contact with yourself. I'm a Sagittarius, so so listen to me when I tell you. You know, blue and purple. Those are those are Jupiter colors. You know, royal colors, majestic and compassionate colors. That is the energy of Jupiter. You know, the compassionate king. You know, but oftentimes, you know, the energy of Jupiter, especially when it comes to Pisces, the energy of Jupiter can get diluted. You know, it can be a person who sacrifices themselves for the well-being of other people. You know, or the person who always escapes through substance abuse or, or blames other people or constantly is the victim. And just as a as a, as a Sagittarius can be generous and and expansive with their with their, you know, generosity and knowledge and kindness, you know, the energy of Jupiter also allow Sagittarius to be extremely selfish. So you have to be aware of that energy that the planet give you. And when your energy off balance, I tell you the color. So you can really use the colors because colors are a vibration, they're a frequency. You can use the colors that you wear for different planets according to your chart and your sign to really tame down your energy and help balance out your energy. Everything I tell you guys, I tell you for a reason. Now, the metal with Jupiter is tin. The incense are saffron and cedar. The tree for Jupiter is, is cedar. You know, Jupiter rules storms, thunder and lightning. You know, that's ruled by Jupiter. Um, the ninth house in the, in the astrological chart is ruled by Jupiter naturally. You know, because that's a natural placement of Sagittarius. You know, um, Jupiter is called, you know, the greater fortune. It it expands on everything. It helps us expand. Jupiter is the planet that shows us if you look at your chart and you look at the Jupiter placement in your chart, it tells you where you're meant to grow at in this incarnation. So if you got Jupiter in your third house, in the sign of Aries, you're meant to learn to communicate your ideas and voice your opinion in a more assertive way. That's part of your learning journey. It's to grow through asserting yourself. Jupiter in the third house as a little summary. You know, the tarot card that's ruled by Jupiter is the fortune card. Again, I tell you, Jupiter is, is the planet, you know, of kings. Kings have great fortunes. You know, and the greatest kings are the kings that use their, their abundance to create abundance for other people. Jupiter is expansive. So if you want to understand the energy of prosperity, the more money you invest in other people growing, the more you grow. The more energy you put into other people growing and nurturing other things around you, including yourself, the more you're going to grow. But you can't nurture yourself and grow with the energy of Jupiter if you're trying to be somebody that you're not. If you're trying to meet everybody else's expectations, how do you expect to grow? You're not using that planetary energy to your advantage. And once you start to understand the energy of the planets and start to take note of your natal chart, you will start to understand where you are and where you are not using your planetary energy properly. The purpose of me teaching you guys, because I'm a Sagittarius, 
That's part of Jupiter's energy, part of the Sagittarian energy, is to teach. The Jupiter energy is to expand your knowledge. So you can grow. To help you believe in yourself. To expand your faith in yourself. Because the only reason you're not growing is because you do not know. You know, a lot of people don't even understand the real meanings of words. So they have been afraid to even try to study anything that's associated with the occult. Because occult means evil and spooky. That's what you've been programmed to believe. But if you took a, a minute to look the word up, the original word of occult means hidden. If it's not into your knowledge, it's hidden from your knowledge. That's why you don't understand how the tarot works. That's why you don't understand how astrology works. That's why you don't have, have an understanding of how ephod divination works or people reading playing cards work because the knowledge isn't within your awareness. So Jupiter encourages you to expand your awareness and grow. Not only to obtain knowledge, but to understand that knowledge. Because knowledge, once it's understood, is transmuted in, as, into wisdom. And that's where a lot of people miss out. They'll know a lot of stuff, but don't understand shit. Jupiter is the planet that helps you understand the information that you take in on Wednesday from Mercury. Everything falls in order. I promise you guys, it's a divine order. When you understand a divine order, you're going to start to see your life aligning. You know, you're going to start seeing your life aligning, and then you're going to see start, start to see your purpose aligning. And then you're just going to start going forward and forward and forward because it doesn't matter what's behind you when the moment, it doesn't matter what's in front of you when the momentum of the universe is behind you. If you're living your purpose, the momentum of the universe is going to be behind you. And that's the bottom line. Bottom line. You know, so Jupiter, Jupiter is all about, you know, higher education, expanding the awareness. Uh, the ancient gods associated with Jupiter are among, you know, uh, if you're interested in the Yoruba tradition, you know, you want to look at uh, the spirit Obatala or the spirit Shango. Both of them are, you know kingly spirits but obatala is more you know majestic in the, in the mature version of jupiter while shango is the young arrogant version of jupiter you know um number of jupiter is four you know once you understand the boundaries that are set forth in the number three by saturn then number four you can become established you know, you establish yourself. Once you understand the boundaries, you are capable of establishing yourself. So now you're learning as I work you through each planet, you know, how the energy of the planets align with each area of your life. It's all lined up. It all flows in a circle. And the sooner we start to understand that we're part of a greater mechanism, we're, you're going to grow fast really fast um again jupiter jupiter is about growth man growth 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 the stones for jupiter are amethyst and lapis lazuli both of those stones are good for working on your uh third eye and and psychic 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 intuition you know uh Lapis is good for your, your, your throat chakra and intuition because, and the uh, amethyst is good for your, your third eye. Your third eye is where you interpret, you know, the information that comes down through your crown chakra. So when your third eye is blocked, you, you deal in fear, anxiety, paranoia, and, and delusional thinking, fear-based thinking. You know, your throat chakra is blocked. You're not understanding, you know, so you're not understanding when you don't understand other people, you lack the capacity for compassion. So, you know, if you want to understand people and grow more and and not, you know, live and, and view life from a diluted place, then lapis lazuli and amethyst are good crystals associated with Jupiter that will help you out. 
You know, you want to look at your chart placement for your Jupiter sign. Where is Jupiter at? Because that's going to be a, a, the place in your chart too, where you where you find a lot of opportunities. Because Jupiter isn't just luck; it's opportunities. Because an opportunity is something that you expand upon. Jupiter rules expansion, so an opportunity is something that you can expand upon. Do you see how the correspondence works with that? So, if you look to where Jupiter is placed in your chart, say for instance you have Jupiter in your ninth chart. You will find in your ninth house of your chart, you find opportunity amongst publishers, you know, people within the legal system, college people, people within college, college professors, you know, uh, people from foreign countries, because all these things are ruled by Jupiter in the ninth house. You know what I'm saying? So you have to understand what the house rules, what the sign rules, what the planet rules. And this will give you a good understanding of how to find your, your opportunities in your chart. Jupiter is a good planet, man. Expand, grow, grow, open up. Open up, but don't open up so much that you push opportunities away. Know your boundaries and establish a foundation. Jupiter. Check out the other videos if you haven't seen them yet. Planetary magic is, is going to be hot. I promise y'all.